Cannabis Show. I'm your host, Nate. This is my co-host, Simon, and boy, do we have a show for you tonight. We have a special guest for you tonight. He is widely known as Groz, the self-endorsed NSA whistleblower. So please welcome Groz. Nice to be here, Nate. So, have you hacked anyone recently? Sure, who do you want to know about? You've hacked more than one here recently? <laughs> well, have you heard about this company, Apple? Well, sure. They get into everyone's pets. <laughs> Let's just say my phone ran out of storage from all the pictures that uh, surfaced. Yeah. I'm sure yours did too. So, uh, cybersecurity is a growing factor in today's society and the ever expanding technology world. And we want to learn more just like you guys. So, let's take a look out on the streets to see how safe people feel about their security. Alex, can you hear us? Loud and clear, Mike. All right, today we wanted to see just how secure people feel carrying around a smartphone. Incredibly vulnerable into. To, to our things. Today's society, let's find someone to talk to. He'll do. Excuse me, sir. What's your name? Sure. Have you ever had your identity stolen? Yes. That I'm sure you know about these facts. Identity theft is the fastest growing crime in America. Every minute, about 19 people fall victim to identity theft. The number of identity theft incidents has reached 9.9 .9 million a year. It takes the average victim an estimated $500 and 30 hours to resolve each identity theft crime. Yes, yes, I know. Um, so, somebody stole my identity when I was in college for software engineering. I was top of my class. Uh, still to this day, no one really knows what happens. You, you would think I'd have good karma because I gave my credit card number to the princess in love. The prince doesn't ask the same way, you know. How did you know he was the real prince? He told me. With cybersecurity threats today, you should never give out your personal information. Not even the prince of Zimbabwe. Yeah, but I traced his IP address back and it led me to this building in New York City, so... He must be on vacation or something. I, I, everyone knows princes go to New York for vacation. He's probably just celebrating after my generous donation. Thank you, sir. You have a nice day. You too. Back to you, Nate. Thanks, Alex and uh, Shivi. So here's how it goes. Never give your information to someone or something you don't fully trust. Only trust sites that are secure and have good reviews and customer support systems. Never be dumb enough to give your information away through email, like our friend Shivi. Don't want to end up like him. Remember, be safe. Goodbye. <laughs>